good morning children um, sorry i'm not checked your tests yet i'll be doing it and sending the marks shortly okay so today we have to do the actual ninth a part okay ninth a ninth chapter is household circuit and a part is transmission of power and house wiring but most of the part is cut only a small portion is there okay but it is good if you understand it okay it is good if you could understand it because it really helps you know how we get electricity so as you all know so the first step is from the power station so we all get electricity from power station you know that right so maybe we get it from terry dam okay thermal um, power plant and so the voltage that is generated there okay is 11 kb kilo volt volt means 11000 volt okay so they generate um, electricity at a very high voltage and then now take this as terry power station from here it has to reach your house okay so you're here okay city you are in this uh, Dehradun city it has to reach here so see the various uh, steps it follows first of all they will pass it through something called grid substation where this 11 kV is stepped up or increased to 132 kV now um, there are two types of you all have seen something called a transformer the electricity bowls, poles and all you will see some a big box kind of a thing that's a transformer now basically there are two types of step, transformer step up and step down now step up will increase the voltage okay increase the voltage and step down will decrease the voltage so in this case I have to convert 11 kilo volt to 132 kilo volt so I have to send it through a step up transformer so the 11 kV becomes 132 kV then they transmit it now what was the purpose of stepping it down and again so this is they have shown just one thing but then you know there will be many such poles okay between Terry and Dehradun you know the distance and so there will be many such poles and wires will be connected between these poles and those will carry the current from there to our place okay now this is now on the receiving side okay now it has re re reached Dehradun it has not reached your house but it has reached Dehradun main substation okay it's called main substation now the first step in that will be this 132 kilo volt will be converted to 33 kilo volt 132 kilo volt will be converted to 33 kilo volt okay then um, again two times it will be stepped down. now the point is what was the purpose to here step up and then again the same thing step down why could they could have sent it as 11 kV itself and just step up here now why did they do this so one reason you should understand um, you know the formula for power V into I or I is equal to P by V now power is constant it's like a you can take it as a system okay like input side output side okay so the input power and output power should be the same okay so power will be constant so I is inversely proportional to V that means by increasing the voltage I can decrease the current means if I send it at 132 kV then the current will be very less now my aim is to reduce current as much as possible voltage is not the problem it's the current that's a problem because current only leads to I squared RT losses heat energy losses according to Joule's law of heating whenever current passes through any wire it heats it based on this formula so it is always good to keep the current as low as possible to keep the current low voltage has to be increased so that's the reason why they stepped up from 11 to 132 and it is transmitted at 132 only okay 
so these wires will be so you will as you know there will be like many wires like this okay we will be carrying and then there will be this tower kind of a thing in between to support them okay i think you would have seen this everywhere so these are those thick black wires that carry okay from maybe terry dam to dehradun now it has reached dehradun main substation and first of all now there are three uh, places where the current has to go one is to heavy industry then to light industry and then to consumers consumers means for us okay um, city consumers for normal or day to day use heavy industries means industries that do heavy work okay which use heavy machines they need lot of current okay so a lot of voltage basically so from 132 first they step down to 33 kv they reduce to 33 kv so output from here will be 33 kv and that goes to heavy industries then this some of it goes there and the remaining of it is further step down from 33 to 11 you're reducing it from 33 to 11 11 and sending it to light industries these are not having very big machines okay they just need 11 kv now after that again once it is step down comes down from 11 kv that is 11000 volt to 220 volts as i've told you we need 220 volt for our household supply all the appliances that we use have are designed to work with 220 volt so after stepping it down from 11 kv to 220 it is sent to city consumers okay these are substations main substation intermediate substation city substation so this is how finally the uh, electricity reaches our port and uh, you know that in every street there will be a pole okay this will come to the pole and then from the pole every house will take electricity a, a wire will go to every house as they take electricity connection okay so this is just a um rough idea about you just have to know it thankfully you don't have to study it okay so i'm striking it but it will be good i want i explained it purposely because it's good to know how we get electricity so power generating station 11 kilovolt volt it is first stepped up to 132 kilovolt and then it is sent here it is transmitted and then here in the receiving side main substation step down to 33 that goes to heavy industries city substation sorry from um, this one it goes to intermediate substation where it is step down to 11 kv goes to light industry 220 kv then consumers okay so anyway you don't have to study this okay just have an idea that's enough now this part you have power distribution to a house now what we are seeing basically is now the we saw how it has reached okay the pole near your house in front of your street there will be an electricity pole from that pole you will see wires going to every house okay so one set of wire is coming inside our house okay so this is from city substation one set of wires okay there is there will be an electric pole from that you will get it okay now so every house will to every house one set of live neutral earth live neutral earth will wire will go now this is the particular wire that goes to your house that comes to your house okay now so this is the electric pole imagine there is a pole here and this is the black color that insulator part what you see inside you will have live neutral earth three wires going live neutral and earth live will be thicker neutral and earth will be generally thinner and then there will be something called company fuse company fuse now this is kept in the live wire in the pole itself in the pole okay you can just imagine like this okay there will be a pole electricity pole from where wires will go to every house okay minus say house number 10 okay house number 11 house number 12 house number 13 now to every house so it's a three wire actually so here itself there will be a fuse 
This is called the company fuse. This is placed by the electricity board people. Okay. So, this house number 10. This fuse uh, is for house number 10. And this fuse is for house number 11. And this for house number 12 and house number 13. Something like that. So, this is called company fuse or pole fuse. Company fuse or pole fuse. And this, okay, till now it has not entered your house, children. Here only it enters your house. Okay, till this is from the pole, one wire is coming to your house. On that wire, on the live wire of that one, you have this company fuse. And then now it is entering your house. Okay, so this is actually at the pole. So they have shown a fuse, company fuse on the live wire. And then now comes the first part in your house the electricity connection comes this first part will be a kilowatt hour meter kwh meter okay that's the meter which records the electrical energy that we are consuming so live neutral and earth and uh, after the kilowatt hour meter we have the main switch we have the main switch and it's a double pole switch Okay, if you remember in switches we said it, there are two types of switches, single pole and double pole. Single pole means only the pole will be on the live wire. Okay, live, neutral and so there will be a pole only on the live wire. So, in on position this will be closed and in off position it will be open. This is single pole switch. Now, this is main switch is a double pole switch in the sense you will have, so double means you will have a, a pole on neutral wire also. That will be basically two poles. So, both has to, if you want this to be on, both have to go down and close it. And when you off it, both of them will rise above in the sense both are cut from the current. Both live and neutral are cut from the current and this provides extra safety. So, the main switch is a double pole switch. That's why they have shown the poles on live and neutral. And earth won't come and earth is going here. And then this comes, this is your distribution box. Distribution box, okay. The, where it goes to different rooms. Maybe in your house there are five rooms two bedrooms one um, kitchen one drawing room so to every room um, this in from distribution box it goes to every room through an mcb so nowadays we don't have fuse instead we have mcb so that they, that's how they are written that's why they have written mcb here okay children so this is how from the pole electric pole the current enters into reaches your particular room Okay, your particular room. These are the various uh, stages it has to pass. Okay, let's quickly uh, note it down. Um, first thing, the cable has three wires. Live, live, the other name for live is face wire, neutral wire and earth wire. The neutral and earth wires are connected together at the local substation so that the neutral and wire, earth are at same potential. Always neutral and earth will be connected together. And they will be, so that they will be at same potential, that is 0 volt. Live wire is also called face wire. Live wire is also called face wire. You would have heard this word, three phase, single phase, three phase. So, that is in live wire itself, there can be three live wires that will be three phase circuit. Okay. Now, the first part, okay, in this, uh, in this, um, block diagram the first thing is the company fuse so you can write roman letter one the company fuse so before connecting the cable from pole to the meter from the pole to the meter first a fuse okay so before connecting the cable from the pole to the meter first a fuse of high rating is connected in the live wire at the pole so this is a fuse of high rating this fuse is called company fuse or pole fuse Okay, it should be of high rating, remember that. Then, only the persons of the electricity supply company, that is electricity board people, they are authorized to handle handle it. Okay, now if any uh, anything goes wrong in your, inside your house, like um, bulb is not working, the uh, 
uh, socket is not working you call the electrician and he will repair all these things but he cannot touch this this only the electricity board people can touch third one the rating of the house depends on the load for which the connection is taken from the company now this fuse not all the fuses will be same okay so house number 10 maybe they are planning to have three acs okay and three geysers so they they know that okay they need to make a rough plan that okay they might need a lot of current and so they take they need 30 ampere current so they will company will put 30 ampere fuse maybe this house will have um, no ac at all okay no ac no geyser so they just need maybe 15 ampere so this fuse current rating will be 15 ampere so depending upon the current requirement of this house okay that depends on the gadgets that you are using simultaneously how many gadgets you will be using and all that so depending on that they'll make a rough estimate and based on that they'll keep a fuse and this wire thickness will also so they this wire will carry 30 amps into your house this wire will carry so the th thickness of this also will differ this will be little less thick because it has to carry only 15 amp can you understand so this is how the electricity comes from the pole into each house and the pole the current rating of the fuse will be different that's why they're saying the rating of the fuse depends on the load for which the connection is taken from the company okay now the second part that we are going to talk about is kwh meter so put roman letter to kwh meter what all the information you should know about the kwh meter the meter is usually mounted on the front or outside wall of the house because the eb person will usually come and uh, note down the reading so usually they keep it outside then from the meter connections are made to a main switch okay from the meter connections are made to a main switch and to a main fuse okay again another fuse is coming this is company fuse or pole fuse and there's another fuse called main fuse i'll tell you about that later or mcb in the distribution box the main switch connected and is connected in so this is about main switch so the third thing is about main switch kilowatt hour meter only that much okay so the main switch is connected in both live and neutral wires while the main fuse is connected only in the live wire the main fuse will be connected only in the live wire then advantages of a double pole switch advantages of a double pole switch the advantage of using a main switch is that that is a double pole switch is that it breaks the connections of live as well as neutral wires simultaneously from the main supply so this provides additional protection the earth wire from the meter is locally earthed at the kilowatt meter only this at the meter so below the meter only basically they'll do this local earthing okay and they'll be digging a hole and putting that wire inside okay children so um these are the uh, informations that you should know and this circuit this not circuit this is not a circuit uh, this block diagram is also important okay from electric pole to the distribution box connections by cable from electric pole to the distribution box okay okay so then we go to the last part house wiring now the current has entered our house okay it now it goes to from here this is the main distribution box main distribution box and these are the here either it, it can be a fuse or mcb okay now this might be going to one room room one room two room three room four okay bedroom and kitchen and then drawing room something like that now inside the house the, the house wiring the system is called ring system earlier they had something called tree system now it has been replaced by ring system now in a ring system 
you will have a set of live neutral and earth wires running all around in the sense live neutral and earth so you'd have seen in a white um, flat um, plastic thing case kind of a thing which will have a cover so this wires will be placed inside that and these white case kind of a thing it's a plastic long strip kind of a thing they'll keep they'll they'll that just keep it inside the wall and the wire will be going through it okay now this white casing will go through every room in every room so during construction you know that before they finish the um final um final painting or final touch they finish the electric electric uh, connections because they have to break the walls and the wires have to be placed inside the walls okay so like this suppose if your house is so through the entire house through the whole house a set of live neutral earth okay this is like a so in this inside this live neutral and earth a set of live neutral earth will be going now suppose imagine this is my bedroom and here i need a live neutral earth i want to connect two fans and one bulb so directly because live neutral earth is uh, while well, will be running somewhere in that room okay it will be inside the wall in, in that room somewhere so from that directly i can just put a hole i just have to suppose if my fan is there fan usually will not have earth because it's not a very so live and neutral on the live wire usually will have the switch and then fuse fan won't have a fuse if it is and so two fans will be connected like that and then i need one so i i need one plug point okay so i have a three pin plug so this one will be connected to the earth wire this is connected to the live and this will be connected to the neutral so like this in every room i can just connect any number of appliances not any number roughly you would have um, calculated all this and accordingly total current will be flowing and you can take the current okay so this is called ring system ring system means a set of live neutral earth is uh, live neutral earth wires running all through your house and wherever you want you just connect appliances there now by doing like this we are connecting the appliances in parallel you know there are two ways of connecting parallel and series by doing like this i am connecting them in parallel okay so it's like bulb three pin plug when do i say they are in parallel both their live wires are connected together maybe there's another fan here if it was in series then the left hand side okay um, the other side of the bulb would have been connected to the three pin plug then connected to the fan so this might be series connection and this is parallel connection one below the other okay so this is a bulb this is a plug point and this is a fan now by doing like this we are connecting it in parallel okay all the left hand sides will be connected together in the sense all the live wires live will be connected together and all the neutral will be connected together okay and we don't prefer series you know that we have studied in smaller classes we generally don't connect the appliances in series because if one appliance if i connect in series if one appliances appliance gets damaged if the bulb gets fused okay it's been an old bulb and bulb got fused now what will happen none of these will work because the current will stop flowing current has a single path but in parallel even if the bulb got fused only the bulb will not work but these two will work because they have a different 
connection current is coming here and they have a separate path current will go here y1 i2 i3 so if only this is cut this current won't go but these two will be going and these two can work so generally we prefer you can uh, all the appliances in a household circuit are connected parallel not in series advantage being another advantage of connecting in parallel is so if it's a 220 volt supply every appliance will receive 220 okay now in series what will happen is the voltage gets divided maybe this will get only 80 volt this might get only some um, 100 volt and sorry this might get say 40 volt 100 volt and this might get maybe 80 volt okay so you can see they will not glow to the earth because they have been designed to glow at matlab work at 220 volt and you give 40 volt they will glow very dim the fan will rotate very slowly can you understand that's what will happen if i put in series voltage gets divided but if i put in parallel this will also get 220 this will also get 220 this will also get 220 that way they will all work to their full capacity okay now again thankfully you don't have to study this so you just okay i just taught you to have information just to for knowledge sake okay uh, straight away you can come here all the electrical appliances are connected in parallel with the mains in the live wire before each appliance there is a separate switch and a separate fuse connected in series advantages of connecting appliances in parallel each appliance gets connected to 220 volt supply that is they work to the full capacity second each appliance operates independently without being affected whether the other appliances are operated or not they work independently then you should also know disadvantages of connecting in series just the opposite to it voltage gets divided okay on connecting more and more appliances each appliance will get less power all appliances operate simultaneously here the word independently here the word simultaneously they work together if one doesn't work everything doesn't work okay just you need to read through these things okay so with this this part is over and for your homework um, draw the diagram okay draw the diagram to show transmission of power diagram to show transmission of electric power okay you need not cut this from not from generating station to your house from electric pole to your house from electric pole to your house hope you got it i want you to modify this question change this question draw the diagram to show transmission of electric power from electric pole to your house okay that will be this diagram figure 9.3 okay then do question number five six seven almost all are one word answers only five six so it's like four five six seven eight nine and twelve okay four five six so fourth one is modified five six seven eight nine and twelve okay so these are your homework for today hope you understood this children so this is how electricity reaches your house and reaches your room okay read through it once after uh, listening to the video then you will understand it better thank you so much